Hi everyone, my name is Electric Donkey and welcome to a Game Maker tutorial. Uh, in this video, uh, we will be doing our destroying of blocks. Um, but actually the first thing I need to quickly do is, uh, you might have seen the last video, I spent about 10 minutes, it's probably about 2 minutes for you guys because I s shortened it. But um, yeah, we came up with uh, a load of errors, it didn't work very well and um, actually I went back and tested this and really um there wasn't anything that i could see which was different um so uh, please correct me if i'm wrong in the comments here but you know you can look at this now you can pause this uh, look at it i'll scroll down in a minute um but i don't think that anything was different here to what my actual uh, thing was so if it is this is working one so if it is you know point it out to me and i will change this but um yeah i i personally cannot see anything here that's different um so yeah also what else was going wrong which was definitely going wrong um was in our move script uh down here uh this used to be an x you know that was a typo guys they happen to the greatest of us. <laughs> you know, someone pointed this out to me and I thought, oh yeah, that was meant to be an X. Um, that was meant to be a Y even. So yeah, change that to a Y because that will drastically change what happened. Also, um, I don't know if I did actually put this in, but um, this is just to check if we're not moving or if we are counteracting it. You know, you, you can put this in. Um, no, we don't want to update Java. Not right now, anyway. <laughs> So yeah, um, if you do see any changes or anything, you know, point them out to me, would be greatly appreciated. But I can't personally see any, so I think it might just been a game maker glitch. So now if we actually go and run it, uh, it should work. Fingers crossed now. It did work before the video, so it should now work. If this still doesn't work for you, if you've still, if you changed everything, you can't see any differences. Uh, again, do post that in the comments or shoot me an email, and I will um, I will then definitely uh, look at it. Um, so yeah, here we go. We can run around. We can push it right to these edges of the blocks. We can, oops, <laughs> we can jump. Uh, also, um, I figured this out. Um, you know, you get all these messages, it lags it up a bit. When you create the level. Um, Yeah, just add one to each of these variables. Um, but r right now we we'll actually get on to um, what we need to do. So again, this might be slightly longer because we've just done this quickly. So our ten minutes starts now. <laughs> so um, yeah, what we're going to do is destroying blocks, um, and this is going to have a timer on it as well. So you know we can uh, have some fun with it. So in a create event, we need to just add some more variables. So we're going to add you know some mining variables mining variables so m speed this is how fast we're going to mine and uh this is in seconds i believe so we're just going to set this to 2 you know um i think i think it should be 2 i don't know uh i'm trying to look at my um example thing so i put it somewhere um okay yeah it's meant to be room speed which will, times by two which will be the uh timesing speed also what else we need to do is add max um m speed so we can just do um that and then add max to it and um what this is is how slow or yeah slow we can possibly go um so yeah that's our variable set up and now we can actually go and create our um you know uh destroying of blocks so this for this example it's going to be global mouse um uh, left button i think we'll give it a go um you know it could be right button i think but i'd stick with the uh same functions. Alternatively, it could be like um. Alternatively, you could. 
have a keyboard press, but that'd probably be quite inefficient. Oh yeah, sorry guys, I had my um, lighting turned on, so it looked a bit orangey, might have then. Um, I just turned it off, so sorry about that. Right, so we're going to destroy the block. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to first turn our um, mouse variables into um, the uh, grid variables, um, which we haven't actually created yet. We haven't created these yet. Um, so actually, we'll, we'll probably go do that in a minute. So my to gy, and you could just um, use the like you could just write it out every time these functions but you know we use it for block place we use it for um, anything else you really want to use it for so they are quite handy functions just to have a script uh, whoops that was path um, you know especially in sandbox games I found that um, you really have a lot of scripts just full of function stuff that you can call on so uh, script mx to gx 2GX and then we do script mx to gx and then we're going to take our mouse x variable so what this is going to do again is turn our um, mouse into a grid so var gx equals argument one well there argument zero and um, what we're actually going to do is var x cell so that's going to be the cell that we're going to return equals mx div cell width so what this is going to do is take our uh, mouse and divide it by our cell width which will give us a grid coordinate and then finally we're going to return x cell and that's super super easy guys but you can call on this as many times as you want and now we can just duplicate this and uh, change this to script my to gy change that to my to gy actually it probably would just been quicker just to write this back out again but you know if, if you're doing a lot of work copy and pasting is the easiest way of doing it and uh, remember to change this to height so there we go. That's our grid. Um, grid. They're like mouse to grid, I guess. Functions and so now they're coming up in orange, blue, blue. Why did I say orange? <laughs> I've gone color blind officially, guys. <laughs> um, right then. Now we can actually do this. Okay. So if our well, wow, tile layer find. So it's going to find the tile on this layer, and the layer is automatically zero because that's what we set it as. And then our uh, mouse coordinates, because this isn't our grid, equals prev tile, yes, or prev tile equals zero. Um, actually, yeah, what we would really do need to do now whoops is go and set our prev tile which again I've forgotten so um, I'll just add that quickly and what this is going to do is really simply um, check to see whether our um, tile that we're trying to mine is the same as the one we were previously trying to mine um, because otherwise you can you know start mining on one tile and then just drag it over to another tile and carry on there which doesn't really work you could have it like that I guess um, but if you're having like block durability stuff um, this will make it much easier so uh, also what I was going to say is my alarms don't work um, you know I think they've just permanently stopped working now so I have to use a yeah, count uh, thing which I'll go and set quickly you can probably just use alarms for this but um, for me I have to use counting so I have to count up every step and do that way which kind of works better I guess because you can actually count up or down depending on which way you want to go but you know so now if it is the same 
a layer or if we've not got a if we're not clicked anything um we're going to set our um previous tile to the tile that we're on at the minute okay also we want to add to account because we are on that um block so we can uh actually carry on our um mining countdown so how long it's going to take us to mine otherwise we want to set our count back to zero because you know <laughs> You just moved blocks. We can't carry on mining at that block. So uh, now, if our count has actually reached our mining speed, um, then what are we gonna do? Okay. So we're gonna get our grid, object level dot grid, and we're gonna put in the gx and gy variables that we made earlier. Equals bkr. So this is just going to set our um, uh, grid one to um, absolutely nothing. So then we're going to uh, set the tile variable. I guess we could just use prev tile, I guess, but that might be a bit dodgy. So we'll just use this to, to keep it up to date. So again, we're just going to be finding the tile, and we can put that into an easy one. If tile is bigger than zero so you know if we've got a tile uh, tile delete so this will visually remove the tile the other one will um, update the collisions and stuff this will visually remove it and then we really need to set the count back and the prev tile because you know we've finished mining it that doesn't exist anymore so prev tile equals zero count equals zero Oh, can't type. Okay, so um, I think ah, one more thing. Um, left button mouse global left released. If I can find it, left released. Okay, so if we release it, we want to stop the count. We want to set the countdown back to zero. So, and our prev tile as well. So prev tile equals zero, count equals zero. So now we actually should be able to go in and uh, see that we can destroy uh, blocks. We also should there. We also should see a reducing lag because we sorted out the bit here where it was saying it was out of bounds. Um, and uh, yeah, generally we should have a pretty good game now. Um, so we can see we've not got the errors coming up. And now we should. Okay, maybe not. Okay, so um, var XL equals. Hmm. MX. Okay. Haven't I. Did I. Oh. Did I. Um, so in our MX to GX. Oh, yeah, that's GX. I don't know why I said MX. Okay, and back in our Y as well, that'll be the same. Okay, now we should be able to run it and actually do it. It takes a while to mine it with two seconds, and that's why later on in the videos, I think the um, second two videos, maybe one video time, we'll actually um, do tools and stuff so you can mine faster. So yeah, there we go. We have actually mined it, and um, we should be yeah, we can run straight through it now. So you know, it's not there anymore. And you can definitely incorporate this into inventories and stuff. Also, I wanted to say, guys, I'm not going to be doing inventories. Um, on the sole reason that loads of YouTubers do inventory tutorials. You know, if you really want to go and do a U an inventory, if you don't know how to make your own, you know, you can just go and check out some of those videos. Because really, I don't see the point of repeating them. So, yeah, there it is. Um, if you enjoy this video, remember to like, subscribe, or just do whatever you guys do. Um, and I will talk to you later.